What's going on guys? Angel Talmont is here with thefunnelmarketer.com and in video two we're going to talk about traffic, the start of the sales funnel. And if you haven't already, please check out the first video in the series so that this video makes more sense. You can pause, you can go back into your email and check out the first video before you check this video out. It'll make a lot more sense. So let's get started. So first off, what is traffic? Uh, traffic are, you know, these are people who visit your blogs, your website, your videos, your Facebook, your Twitter. Um, these are your potential customers. These are people who are liking and commenting and sharing things on Facebook or YouTube. And traffic and leads, these, get, these are the holy grail of every business. No customers means no money. So traffic is very important. Now we're gonna start talking about combining traffic and sales funnels. And like I said before, traffic is the very beginning of the sales funnels. Like I talked about in the first video, your funnel starts with traffic and it ends with profit. So how can we get more traffic? Um, traffic sources can be generated by social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Periscope, Pinterest, Snapchat, or they can be on your, your personal blogs, um, your videos, podcasts, emails, SEO, but I think it's very important that every business uses or focuses on two to three traffic sources and really, really focuses hard on those. Don't let other social media accounts distract you or podcasts or things that are not relevant to your niche. Don't let them distract you. Pick two or three traffic sources and really focus hard on those and mastering those. So YouTube. YouTube is the second biggest search engine in the whole world. Not AOL, not Bing, not Yahoo, YouTube. And it has over a billion unique users. And what's amazing about YouTube is that it's very targeted traffic because like I said, it's a search engine. So when people have a question, they go into the search bar and they say, how to make a do-it-yourself table, how to make, you know, how to get rid of a cough, why does my back hurt, things like that. They search those things, they're looking for answers. And that's why video is so powerful. Um, it ranks better than the average website. Um, Google bought out YouTube, so when YouTube makes a video, you know they're gonna rank it fairly high in their search engine. So YouTube's a pretty valuable asset to most businesses. Not to mention, I read somewhere that adults between the ages of 18 and 34 view YouTube more than they even view television now. So you can imagine how you could really attack the audience from 18 to 34 especially with YouTube. Another thing about YouTube is how powerful their ads are. You've seen those 30 second YouTube ads and they can kind of annoy you, but if you do it right, you're able to show your brand, to show your product, to show yourself, to show your face in front of thousands and thousands of viewers of YouTube every day. And the nice thing about YouTube ads is you only pay if somebody interacts with your ad, which means to click on it, or if they view it for longer than 30 seconds, or they view the whole video if it's less than 30 seconds. That's when you pay for YouTube ads. If somebody just goes on YouTube and they click the skip ad button, you don't pay a cent. So that's why I think YouTube is valuable, especially for brand recognition, brand marketing, and those sort of things. And the last thing about YouTube is YouTube videos last for years and years. They can get you a lot of views, days, months, weeks, years after you make the video. So if you link your website or your landing page or a product in the description, those links can get traffic for years after you put them out. So that's why every business, in my opinion, need to be using YouTube in some way, shape, or form. Next is Facebook. And what I love about Facebook is it's a two-way connection. Back in the day when you had newspapers, when you had the yellow pages, or anything, any other advertisement for that matter, it was just a one-way, one-way communication. They look at the ad and they have feelings about it, and whether they like it or not, they couldn't really tell you as a business owner. But now you have social media and you have Facebook where they can like and comment and share the content that you're putting out 
as well as Facebook is also a game changer for your marketing. Their ads are some of the most powerful, narrow targeted ads out there on any platform. With Facebook ads, you're able to target people's interests, education, age, gender. But not only that, you can go even deeper like their politics, their relationship statuses, their life events. You're able to target them so narrowly that you can, you can really find highly targeted leads within Facebook. Not to mention, you can target you know, within a five to 10 mile area of your business and you can draw leads from within, 10 mile, within five to 10 miles, even if you're a local business. And that's powerful enough. And what's crazy is you can reach thousands of people for minimal dollars. You know, you can reach a few thousand people for 10, 15, 20 bucks. And that's powerful in itself. So next, I'm gonna go on to Periscope. And Periscope is a relatively, it's, it's a pretty new platform, but it can be very effective for people who are marketing themselves. You get a real inside scoop with Periscope because it's got that live webinar type feel to it where you can share things that are going on in your personal life or share things that are going on behind the scenes that you can't share on hard, you know, on any other platform. Not to mention these are posted automatically to your Twitter so they get more they get more exposure. Periscope, like I said, is relatively new, but if you're trying to market yourself maybe as a personal trainer or a real estate agent or some high ticket coaching agency, Periscope can be very, very valuable to your business. Twitter and Instagram. These can be very, very valuable for marketing in terms of brand recognition as well as promotions, but I don't use Twitter or Instagram as much. For me, they're just another place for me to post content and to get more exposure, and I know I should probably do more homework on Twitter and Instagram, but right now I'm just trying to focus on Facebook and YouTube and Periscope to build my brand. But I'll probably start focusing on Twitter and Instagram more when I get into different niches such as weight loss or if you get into photography or you know personal training or exercise, things like that. Instagram and Twitter are great for that. So that there's a lot of buzz around Instagram ads. And as people learn them more, they're gonna be more effective. So make sure you do some research, research on that. And then you have everything else in, in uh, social media, such as Pinterest, Snapchat, Tumblr, Google+, which I heard might be coming down pretty soon, but that's, you know, that's here nor there. Uh, you name it. These are other places that you can post your content and share you know, relevant content with your target market. Now, like I said before, you should try to focus on you know, a few things and make those things work very well as opposed to trying to get on everything. But these are just other accounts that you can get or other marketing tools that you can use to help your business further. Next is your blog. Um, blogs are very valuable. They're ranked pretty well in search engines for SEO and we'll get to that later. You can also write relevant content in your niche as well as link things in your blog as the start of your funnel. For example, you could post a blog on Facebook and drive traffic to it. It could have a link or a video or something that's drawing them into your funnel. So you could, for example, post 10 reasons why Facebook is amazing for marketing. You can insert a link inside your blog. It, would, it can drive traffic to your landing page and get them started in the process. Email marketing. This is probably the best dollar for dollar marketing out there. You can obtain emails through your landing page by giving out something free, which they call a lead magnet, giving out something free of value in return for their email address. And then you can softly market to them by sending them relevant content and videos and other things from your social media accounts as well as personal thoughts or any way you can give them value and then sprinkle in some sales pitches, some service or product that you're selling. You can sprinkle that into them once, as Gary Vaynerchuk says, you jab and you jab and you jab, which is the content. And then you, when you give them a right hook, as he says, 
that's when you give them that's when you give them your product or service to buy from you search engine optimization um, this is trying to get organic traffic into your sales funnel or website or social media account or whatever you're trying to drive traffic to this would be where your website ranks in Google search or where your YouTube ranks in YouTube search um, search op engine optimization can be very valuable for getting consistent traffic and more leads for example if you don't rank rank on the first page of YouTube search engine optimization is very important if you don't rank on the first page of Google or the first page of YouTube many times people won't take the time to search through the pages in order to find you if you're out there and on top of the Google search and YouTube search engines people are gonna find you more valuable they're gonna think that you get more traffic they're gonna find you as more reliable as more trustworthy since Google has you ranked that high um, there's many ways that you can you can optimize yourself in the search engines it's something that I'm getting into but in general if you can get videos and web pages on top of the search engines you're gonna get more organic traffic and that's the main point of SEO so be on the lookout for video number three I'm gonna reveal a sales funnel that you can use in your business today as well as teaching you how to map out sales funnels for each product or each service in your business